Sunday morning, and uh, as we were saying before the break, Rob, you've been saying this for quite a while. Don't mm -hmm. plant your tomatoes yet. What were you doing? The uh, the curmudgeon <laughs> is back. Yes. We're talking about properly planting tomatoes. Do it right the second time around because a lot of people are doing do-overs. Now, first, to show the contrast between these tropical plants I just brought in, these are the peas that you and I, you guys, planted these right around St. Wow. Patrick's Day. Oh my God. They're little huge. tongue thumb peas. See, they're already making little tiny yeah, they peas. Are. Fine. And they've been out through snowmageddon, the bomb cyclone, through freezing temperatures, all that. They're perfectly fine. And they mm -hmm. can take that right. Look so at that. Do you have me to move it out of the so way? So yeah. that's what yeah. people so should have planted. On. So I have lots of things on the table that I still would not plant. Still. I've Listen. seen the forecast. Next week is, remember, night temperatures reliably mm -hmm. above 50 degrees for the tropical plants, tomatoes, eggplants, and peppers, which are from tropical places. Eggplants are from India. Does it feel like India outside? It does not. It does not. No, it no. does not. No. So when you finally do do this, and it could be another seven days, 10 days, you know, I'm not psychic. We just have to see what those mm -hmm. temperatures do. First, um, dig a hole. Now we're pretending this is a hole, or you could do okay. this in a pot. Okay. Sure. So the way you don't you're do it, do how this, you want a whole pot. You don't want one that's. Don't yeah, cut yeah. it in half. This okay. is just for demonstration purposes okay. only. I just had to say that. So you this is know. your tomato, okay. and you guys are going to strip off all these lower leaves way up to there. Okay. So just do it strip right them now? off. Wait. Yeah, carefully. Oh, okay. I mean, you don't want to like take the, the know, whole stem. Take the whole stem off. Yep. Strip off ah. all the leaves, because what happens is that tomatoes, and this is one of the very few plants you can do this with, they will root all along the stem and give you a much healthier, more vigorous plant. And so if this were your hole... Would you go here too or no? Yeah, take that one off too. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we we're going to take the tomato. You bury them about, about two-thirds of them will be buried. So this, if this is your hole, mm -hmm. you're going to bury them up to here. Wow. I learned this from you last time and it changed okay. the way I plant tomatoes. Yes, this and is they're new much to me. better. Yeah. So that's how you do it. You've got to do it that way. If you plant them the way they are in the pot, you get a stringy plant that right. is tall and gangly and never does much of anything. This builds you know some what's strength so funny? The there it are no tomatoes strength. on here, but it smells like summer to me because Doesn't we had it? tomatoes in our garden when I was a kid and it smells like those garden tomatoes. Yeah, it's one of those fragrances oh you never forget. Yeah. Now, if you're going to fertilize, and you should fertilize your tomatoes, don't use just a standard high nitrogen fertilizer because what happens, tomatoes are not high, dry, high nitrogen users. Use one that's formulated just for tomatoes. If you give them a lot of nitrogen, you'll get a really big plant, really vigorous, but not much fruit. Mm. Because you're telling it grow, 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 you're not right. telling it to make fruit. Okay. So use a, uh, that. Um, what do you do with this? So when I, I have it and I kind of like make a circle around the outside Yes, edge. that's fine. That's perfect. Okay. Yes, and you should, as you a plant plus. this, <laughs> hey, hey, as you that. plant this, you're going to make a moat of soil <laughs> all around the plant, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that when you water, there's the moat, or when it rains, it catches the so water. So you're talking about like a trench around the outside? Yes, and then you will put the fertilizer in there. It's just a granular fertilizer that you put in and it'll, and it'll like a leach few down into the soil. Or something or Follow directions, yep. I can't, yes, yeah. it's too small for me to read. Yeah, but, like, um, like being a kid, that's you how go. you get your A+. Follow plus. directions is always good. Um, and so once you have that mow around there, because if you just have them flat out in the garden, you're just mm -hmm. having to water all that soil instead of just keeping them moist. They do need moisture, they can't dry out. There you go. Now you know. Do Lesson over. learned. It's do over time. Do over time. Do it, do it right it this right. time. Bob, thank you so much for coming in. I'm going to go plant some tomatoes, or maybe not. Maybe no, 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 no,